to our first. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning into our Google Plus Hangout on Air with our special guest, Mr. Austin Scarlett. And um, Hello. <laughs> hi. Hi, Austin. <laughs> um, I Hello, am Rachel. social media manager here at Brides Magazine, and I am joined with our fashion director, Miss Rachel Leonard. And remember to use hashtag Wedding Wednesday and Brides Hangout to retweet and tweet all of your favorite quotes that um, Austin will be sharing with us today. So our topic for this hangout is best wedding dresses for your body type. So Rachel will um, give the first question to Austin. Austin, Sabrina yes. Peter wants to know what is the best dress design for a plus size bride that is top heavy with some curves? All right. That's a very good question. Um, I think with plus size brides, it's really balance is so important. And I think a lot of times, if you are fuller on top, some sort of balance of some fullness on the bottom is something that seems to work very well. Um, you know, the neckline, of course, is so important. Um, and you can really work some miracles of sort of design and style with plunging necklines, v-necks, crisscrosses, I think are always recommended for um, a bride with a full bust who wants to only minimize but also just enhance and beautify that area, bring it to um, attention yeah. in a pretty way. Crisscross, you mean like cross my heart? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like a wrap, I think sort of V wrap type necklines um, can work very well. Mm -hmm. I just sort of streamline things, nothing, no extra poo for volume necessarily, but some fullness on the bottom. Right. Sort of like a modified A line, sort of trumpet silhouettes that flare out very smoothly. Yeah. Um, sort of make the top half appear smaller. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. It's about balance. Okay, um, and you'd agree with that as well, like those I, sort of tops. Yes, I totally agree. There are strapless dresses, though, aren't there, that are that plus size people can wear? Or, but I, oh, I, absolutely. If you're absolutely. Busy, I think you should have a strap. I would imagine you'd feel more secure. Well, I think that you know, no matter what size or shape you are, the you can wear a strapless dress if it's well constructed. And I think a lot of times from what I've seen and brides I've worked with, um, the strapless really does open up the whole body and it flatters so many different shoulder shapes, arm shapes, and it just sort of creates an openness and it's all about emphasizing, you know, a slender waist and a beautiful neckline. Um, so I found plus size brides and also fuller busted brides look fantastic in a strapless dress. It just sort of opens up the area right. really you, you know, presents the face. Um, it kind of frames. Yes. And we have a, another question that's completely dedicated to strapless, so this is great that you're talking about that now. Um, but just to switch gears a little bit, you know, Austin, in a lot of your gorgeous gowns, you use a lot of color. Um, and brides want to know, aside from the traditional white, what other colors would you say are very flattering for other skin tones or the colors that you enjoy using for your designs? Certainly. Well, I, of course, I do love designing in color, um, as Rachel and I have discussed before. And I've, in all of my collections, you always see at least a few dresses are in color. Um, and I love them. I love doing color wedding dresses because they're fun. And I think that a young today's bride is often looking for something a little more unique that will, that will celebrate and speak to her own personality. She wants to bring some individuality into her wedding and color is a great way to do it. Um, it's also can be very attractive and very flattering different colors um, as opposed to white. In our first collection we did a whole series of sort of pale amethyst and lilac tone dresses that really um, I, flatter a whole variety of skin tones. They really look great on almost any skin tone. Uh, I think blushes and shades of pink are always very classic or almost sort of a new white in today's wedding fashion scene, I would say, perhaps. Right. Um, but, yeah, color is, is, I think it's just, is it has a happy celebratory feeling and 
I'm finding that brides really love it today. So I'll be continuing to design mini dresses with color. Rachel, if someone is fair-skinned, would you still recommend a white dress, or how would you go about that? I think it has to do with the right shade of white, if you're very fair, wouldn't you say, Austin? I mean, is there a particular... A pure white dress? If you're very fair-skinned, would you... Is white a good option, or should you go ivory, or just a little bit off-white, or...? I think if you're... You know, it's tricky in every... You know, there's so many delicate nuances of it up, right? fair skin. But I think it, if you're, I think fair and blonde with blonde eyebrows and things, maybe a little bit a creamier may have less of a tendency to wash you out. But I think a white dress on a fair complexion with dark hair can be absolutely is one of the most stunning color combinations. Um, mm -hmm. So, and of course, if you have a more golden, tan, or dark complexion, white looks fantastic. Right. Good. Good. Um, Austin, a big trend we're seeing is the backless gown. Do you think yes. that this is a figure-flattering option for brides-to-be? I think it can be on if your back is a beautiful feature. And I think that once you're choosing your dress, no matter what shape, size you are, just think what is the most beautiful part of myself and work on highlighting that. So if you have a beautiful back, by all means, um, I think it can be so dramatic and so striking and gorgeous, a backless wedding dress. I actually just made um, a custom backless wedding gown for a very good friend of mine, and she looked beautiful. She was getting married in a mountain in Colorado, and it just ended up looking fantastic. Um, of course, the structure and the support are very important, and having the fit be just right, um, to feel confident in the back of stress. This is something that probably most women are not used to wearing every day, but um, I think just the backlist lends itself to that fantasy and that really once-in-a-lifetime beauty that you look for in a wedding dress. So when shopping, I think it's important to have some very good, trustworthy friends nearby who can give you an honest opinion as to how right. it looks, whether right. it's backless or anything. Right. Um, you have to have but good that options. said, I absolutely go for the plunge completely. <laughs> All right, go for the plunge. <laughs> um, Austin, we received a question from one of our Facebook fans and one of our Google Plus followers. Uh, Tracy yes. Trinian asks, I've been told that strapless dresses are flattering for big busts, which you obviously talked about. Um, but I'm terrified about wardrobe malfunctions. Is there something I should look for in a fit closure style that will kind of keep everything in place? Absolutely. Um, as I sort of mentioned briefly, um, I think that a strapless dress, it's essential that it be well made and well fit in order to hold up and be successful and look good. Um, I think a lot of times people who experience ill-fitting dresses, they're not fit properly through the whole body. You can't just sort of pinch it tighter around the neckline. It really needs to sort of support itself from the waist up. Um, in all of my dresses, I build in sort of an internal waist belt that can be adjusted to really fit you very snugly to hold the entire bodice up through the whole torso, not just pinching around the neckline. Um, this is, it sits on your hips, right? Something that sits on your hips that supports the top? Yes. I mean, the longer, the more construction all the way down you can have, the more support you'll have. Sometimes brides prefer... I think you can even have a short inner bodice that fits well. Um, can still hold up even in any size, I think, but it just really needs to be evenly supported throughout and not just sort of pinched in one particular area. Um, and just having the right structure, the right amount of boning, the right fit um, inside really makes all the difference. That makes a lot of sense. Um, and Alex Taylor wants to know, why are practically all wedding dresses strapless? <laughs> Maybe you've all actually answered that, but it again. <laughs> well, I think that they just are one of the truly most beautiful, flattering necklines, um, and they really look wonderful on a whole broad diversity of figures. Um, 
small busted, full busted, it really, it just seems to do the magic trick. Um, there's just something very traditional and classic about having the bare shoulders is just so fresh and romantic looking. And if you're wearing a veil, um, I find that sometimes having additional straps or things going on just is too much if you have um, any type of voluminous or decorated veil. Um, it's just, it keeps it cleaner and really the focus should be on the beautiful bride and not too many things going on as much as I love, you know, a fancy, fancy dress. I like keeping this area bare generally. Um, I think it just looks fresh. Right, definitely. And for petite women, what would you say is a good trick to know when it comes to wedding dress shopping or silhouette? Certainly. Um, well, I think for petite, I like a little bit of a slimmer silhouette, um, generally not going too, too full. You can still wear a ball gown, but have something that uh, maybe has a longer waist or is a little more slim fitting through the hips and then flares out. Um, it's just important. If you're petite, you can easily become overwhelmed by a dress that is too full or has any any amount of too much drama or volume in any area of the dress. But um, you know, V-necks again are also very lengthening. Um, mm. I think sort of trumpet silhouettes work very well. They're very lengthening and any vertical or diagonal detailing naturally will bring the eye up and down mm -hmm. so those are all things that I try and design for when when uh, thinking of a petite bride I think it's important to to just keep all those things in mind when designing the collection so that's what we're into right now so it's actually really wonderful to talk about all of these things and to hear these questions from brides because um, it helps me as a designer sort of create something that will be beautiful for everyone out there and that's what I love about about doing this is uh, making women feel they're taken care of and flattered and um, as beautiful as they can be. Well we had so much fun chatting with you and hanging out with you <laughs> today um, and Austin where can we find you and your beautiful dresses and on social media? Yes, well, um, I mean, my website, austinscarlet.com, is the greatest place where you can find all the different links, all our Twitter, our Facebook, um, all of the stores that were carried at across the country and are all listed there on our website. So, um, you know, I'm constantly traveling on trunk shows, so if you are looking for a dress, please look me up because I may be coming your way soon. <laughs> <That's our country. laughs> Wait, you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Austin. Yes. Thank you for Thank joining you so us. Much, Thank Austin. you so much, Thank you, Rachel. Thank, Thank you, you, brides, and um, happy, happy fall. Thank right. you too. Bye, everybody. Bye bye.